Hello everyone and welcome in front of Raoul. That's my boss. Why am I using a bus on the Indica races? Just because it's super convenient. I've got everything in there. I've got my PS5, I've got my bicycle, I've got my clothes, I've got my toothbrush. I've got everything I need to travel the races. Enough talking now, I would like to introduce you to Raoul and show you the different aspect of it. So if we start outside with a hole, I've got a couple of chairs, table, there's actually a TV here. There you go. So you can watch outside the races. I've got the barbecue and I've got my scooter. And then there's a lot of, there's a lot of places to put stuff on the road. So, well, that, that's a bit messy. There we go. I've got a remote control car. I've got my bicycle. For the kids, I've got some, uh, Baseball bat, American football ball, baseball ball, a lot of toys in here. Here we've got more space to put stuff. That's a water tank. You can see the water level, we're a little bit low. Need to be careful with the shower. I've got a motorbike behind the bus, so I can I can go where I need to go when I'm at the races. Very, very convenient. Then we're into the part that was really scaring me. Uh, when I started going uh, on a road trip, it's all kind of the plumbing area, but it's actually very straightforward. So you choose if you want to fill your, fill your tank, dry camping, or if you are onto a sea fixture. We've got an outside shower. We've got an outside house in case we need, you know, we can plug somewhere to get some water, water filter. And then here we've got the black water and the gray water. And they're actually very straightforward. So you plug your cable here, your sewer here, and then you start emptying your black water and then the gray water. The gray water is the water from the shower and the black water is the water from the toilets because you start with the black and you finish with the gray. There's never any kind of bad surprise. Underneath here, we've got the generator. So there's a generator on the bus in case we don't have any electricity. You can basically stay wherever you want. You've got the water, you've got the electricity, you've got everything. The bus is 42 feet long. 18.5 meters I would say. It's got a double axle at the rear with rear wheel turning so you actually get a really good radius, uh, corner radius. That's for the outside but no I guess we should go inside. Yeah I've made myself a nice mat and here we go. Okay here we are. Welcome in Raoul. I'm gonna start with the drawing. Sit here. Honestly it drives like a car. The only thing you don't want to do is to get the front wheels and the apex of the corner because the rear is not gonna it's not gonna make it, but if you leave enough room on the apex of the corner, you drive it very smoothly. So we've got a big dashboard here. Uh, you've got all your control here, the GPS here. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. Okay, so like the GPS, uh, you can also check all your controls, black water, the gray water, fresh water. You've got all your system, batteries and everything. We also get the music. When you're traveling, if you're a passenger, just, uh Look at that. Get your legs comfortable, enjoy the ride. Then if we start going into the bus, uh, obviously on the left we've got a table, we've got a TV. That table can actually drop down to that level. We put a couple of cushions and that becomes a bed. And just side, same thing, we've got a sofa here. That can become a bed as well. Um, underneath it, remove the cushion and take it off. We've got a small kitchen uh, with a coffee machine, espresso machine for myself. You've got like Hello. You've got like a microwave, a lot of a lot of places that you can put stuff. One of the cool feet of that bus is that bed over the driver's uh, seat, and you just press the button in the evening when you want to go to bed. There you go. You take your ladder, attach it here, and here you are, ready for good night's sleep. Then if we keep going to the bus, we've got fridge, big fridge, freezer, you know, pantries. All locked for traveling. So you get pantries, I've got my pasta, tomato sauce. I mean, there's, there's loads of them. Uh, there's actually four. One here, one on this here, three and four. And then we get to uh, the mid bathroom and the bunk bed. So. so you saw the bed coming on top of the driver's seat. That's where Sasha sleeps. Bunk beds on the top, that's Simon. And bunk beds at the bottom, it's Camille. And actually those bunk beds are pretty big. I can fit, I can fit pretty nicely. They've got TV, they've got light, they've got windows. 
they love it. And then we've got um, mid bathroom, where there's, there's a small shower. There are toilets. You can easily take a shower in here. That's me. I'm 5'11", 180 centimeters, and I fit perfectly into the shower. I'm welcome in the master bedroom. Obviously, while I sleep on the race weekend, I've got all my clothes in here. Uh, I've got all my t-shirt. I've got a TV, a big comfortable bed. And the bathroom at the back. That's another pretty, pretty big shower. I've actually never sit here, but you can almost sit on the shower, enjoy it. Obviously, you want you want to try to keep your shower short when you're on the water tank. We've got a dryer and a washer. There's also toilets here. So yeah, you can close the doors and that's you completely quiet into uh, into your bedroom. And uh, it's actually, there we go, look at that. Very, uh, very comfortable bed. Bed. You can watch TV. Uh, I've got the AC through the bus. A fan on the ceiling of the bedroom, just in case we need it. You can control the lights and the generator and a few things here. But the main panel to control everything is here. You can control all your light. Uh, you can control your generator, or your electricity, uh, your AC. So, you know, if you want the AC on the back to kick off, you're just gonna do that. There it is, kicking off. Um, you've got all the slides. You can control the slides, the fans, and more stuff here that you can put it on Fahrenheit, or screen brightness, and so on and so on. So. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the bus. It's it's huge. Honestly, it's huge. I've personalized it with you. Small options, 28. Uh, I've kept my uh, Rookie of the Year award. So I just I just sit here sometimes, watch TV or play PlayStation. So yeah, as I say, I've got everything in, in the bus. The beauty of having a bus at the paddock is that you know on on race day or like on ovals, let's say it's raining, you don't drive on oval when it's raining. So you just have a lot of time to uh, spare time. So I come in my bus, I can play FIFA on the PlayStation Five. I can just chill, uh, watch TV, uh, be on the internet, basically do things that you would do home on a rainy day, uh, and that's that's beautiful. Everywhere I go on the races, I'll feel a home in my bus. I've got as I say, all my equipment. This is, this is my house, I can cook myself breakfast in the morning easily, just, you know, being being home away from home. And that's a beautiful feeling that you don't necessarily get in an hotel. I also enjoy driving it. I think it's pretty cool that you get to a place, you stop the bus, park brake, get your jacks out, get the slides out, enjoy being home everywhere in the world.